Welcome to Invest. We'll talk about investing, finance, or professional women. As of current time of 2.55 p.m. on Eastern Time, Ethereum country trade $3,262, up about 1.11% so far. Respect to over crypto market, relatively speaking, Ethereum is the only one that's currently up, but kind of trading on a sideways fashion, not really uh, up very prominently, obviously. But the entire market across the spectrum on the equity side as well is just relatively flat um, to down at the moment. It seems like on this Friday afternoon, after the consecutive days of bread, ever, you know, ever since the Fed's minutes that came out, uh, we're ending on a negative note all over again. So with respect to Ethereum, on the technical front, as we know, we are at a interesting level, right? Um, we just bounced from the 3158, attempting to go to the next level of 3350, so the monumental level that we need to understand right now that we have rebounded from a neutral level at 50 out of 70, we are slowly trying to pick up momentum uh, to recuperate the scoop up on the MACD front to try to form a golden cross all over again to allow us to keep going from here. However, a foreshadow is that we might see a head and shoulder pattern. So this is the head, this is the shoulder, and we might be forming a third uh, or the second shoulder, if you may. And if we were to, to form that shoulder somewhere around like the 3400, that would translate into an imminent sell off coming. That's a negative pattern. However, if we are able to, you know, kind of sustain on a sideways fashion and subsequently come up all the way to the 3550 or 3600, and then consolidate from there and then sell down, we're coming back to the 3350. And that will technically be a cup and handle. And that's a bullish signal. So this is a monumental technical level we need to watch out for uh, to see which way we're we going. Okay. I actually have a gut feeling that we should technically be forming a cup and handle because of the timing for the merge coming. And secondly, because the MACD is slowly crossing up and we are bouncing from a neutral level. So that's my propensity that I think we will be heading to. Respect to Bitcoin is doing something comparable. Uh, we are at a bearer state, actually. We're 46 out of 70, but the curvature is downward across the spectrum. So heading down to 40,000 all the way to 38,000 would be very logical from here. So those are the level I would watch out to DCA going forward. Respect to Ethereum, um, it's negative as well. I think across the market, it's relatively negative beside Ethereum. So for Ethereum Classic, obviously you can see that we are we've been lingering around the 3850. Next up will be 34, all the way to 28, right? Right now the 50 out of 70. So definitely be careful about this current level uh, because of the fact that the next leaps down are relatively steep, right? And do we think that we have a long, a strong shot of actually doing so? I think so because of the momentum is still relatively bearish across the board. So. Um, I think the propensity actually going com coming back down to 38 all the way to 33 would be very logical. And rest of, respect to Dogecoin, just flat at the moment. At 55 out of 70, curving down, about to form a death cross. So coming down all the way to 12 cents, all, 12 cents all the way to 11 cents would be very logical from here. Cardano, I like anywhere from 102 all the way to... Uh, but personally, I think 85 to 75 would be, is much more logical for me to DCA. Solana is down about 3% so far. Um, at the moment right now, we are lingering on, right? You could see clearly uh, at 112, right? But the real level that we need to potentially get down to, let's look at this on a daily chart. This would be more prominently displayed. Is that 85 to 75 would be much more logical level to dollar cost average because firstly with a death cross, secondly is the negative momentum on RSI right now, so not the best level to incur risk yet, at the relatively high up level at the moment. XRP down about 2.7 percent. Uh, I like anywhere from 62 to 57 from here. We are at the uh, 60 41 out of 70, but it's negative across the spectrum. We're forming a major leap down. Uh, we form a reversal on the RSI as well, downward. So across the spectrum, XRP looks relatively bearish. Polkadot's bearish as well. Um, I would say I would I would not touch this until sixteen fifty, all the way to fourteen dollars from here. Algorand's down about two percent. 
75 all the way to 67 cents, right? Bearish all across the spectrum. Shiba Inu, 2100, 1400 to 900 from here. MACTAC, 1400, um, yeah, 143 to 120 from here based on the current setup with the 42 out of 70. So, yeah, I think right now, uh, 142 to 120 would be a very good level. I don't think we'll actually crash down to 120 because we're relatively depleted. But 130 is a fair game. AVAX uh, down about 0.56%, 59 to 50 from here. Luna, it's down about 6% so far. Death Cross, major leap down, reversal is definitely happening. We would potentially bounce from the, nine, the, the 90 or the 88.95 from here. But uh, for for Terra, I would probably buy at like 62, 52 to 45 from here based on the current setup right now. So, respect over crypto market, I would say beside Ethereum, which is still bullish, um, the majority of the coins are relatively bearish at the moment. So, something to think about, that Bitcoin is de definitely in a bearish state right now. So, it will technically have a drag down effect onto the overall market. So, Ethereum could technically be affected by it, okay? So, um, watch out for this. I think uh, we need to see more of a sell-off coming before a pump up which is uh it should be coming shortly because of the uh the level that we are at across the board it's relatively optimal not too oversold not too overbought we're just neutral right now so we still need to kind of deplete to a leap down and then subsequently pump up from there okay so have a good friday and let me know if you have questions take care bye